All right, I'm gonna show you all the semi-organized mess I've got going on <laughs> before I get started with this meal prep. Now, I'm gonna be doing uh, breakfast burritos. I'm gonna be doing four or five meals. So um, it, it looks a little hectic. And of course, there's more also put up in the refrigerator um, waiting. So, I mean, there's, we've, we've got all kinds of stuff going on here. These are just kind of, they were frozen, so I got them in the slow cooker on high, but they've only been in there for about an hour. Basically, I'm just trying to thaw them out enough to work with. Um, and I'll tell y'all everything I'm doing and how I'm going to do it and how it all goes together along the way. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to be doing is cube steak. Now, on the cube steak, this was in my freezer. All I'm going to do with the cube steak is put it in the refri refrigerator after it thaws out because i'm not going to cook that until the day of because i you know something battered and fried uh you know it'll be good for the next day but that's it so there's enough there for me and my wife to have dinner one day and lunch the next so i don't want to cook that until we're going to eat it for dinner and then we'll take it for lunch the following day i'm going to go ahead and make all of our breakfast burritos that's another thing i'm going to make um, I'm going to make us some fruit cups. We got mango, kiwi, um, strawberry in the refrigerator and blueberry. So I'm going to make us some fruit cups with cottage cheese. Uh, I'm going to make us some coleslaw. That's like our family heritage coleslaw. It's a vinegar slaw, not a whole heck of a lot in it, but it's the best coleslaw you've ever ate. I'm um, going to make us some salsa verde because we are really big on salsa verde. And we're going to be making a chili verde. And it's going to be made with the verde sauce, obviously, and uh, cut up pork, pork shoulder, cut up pork shoulder. Um, and then, of course, a lot more verde to put up because we put that stuff on everything. Um, we are going to make, I got some habaneros back here. I'm going to make some habanero salsa. And I'm going to make a Mediterranean stuffed pork loin. And we're going to have lamb steaks with roasted vegetables. So that's pretty much the rundown of what I got going on. I'll try and take y'all along with me. Okay, so what I have right here, actually not all of them, but I have two pounds of tomatillos. And you can see these have a husk on them, a papery husk. Um, if you've never used tomatillos before, they all come like that. Uh, sometimes you'll find them in the store where, uh, you know, People, I guess, have been rolling them around and the husk has come off. That's fine, too. Um, but it, it is different than a green tomato in case you've never tried them before. They're really good, though. Uh, anyway, got two pounds of tomatillos. I have four jalapenos. Um, and I'm also going to add a couple habaneros to mine, but I like really spicy. So, uh, four jalapenos and two poblano peppers. Poblanos are the kind that look like this, the big. Um, some people substitute these, some people can't find these and they substitute them for Anaheim peppers. And that's fine, but the flavor's not the same. Um, so, and if you don't like yours very spicy, but you still like the flavor of the jalapeno, then all you do is take all the seeds out of the inside, take all the seeds out, and uh, take the veins on the inside of the pepper, take those out as well. And that will take the vast majority of the heat away, but still give you the flavor of the habanero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this, I'm gonna rinse it all up, chop the stems off, but I'm gonna leave the seeds and the ribs on the inside of the pepper, because we want the heat. Um, so I'm gonna clean all this stuff up, rinse it up, cut it up, and then we're going to, um, then we're going to coat it in olive oil and roast these in the oven. Now I've got my oven on right now, uh, preheating up to 450 degrees to roast these. Okay, for those of y'all that haven't messed with hot peppers very much, I just want to show you all this. See all these ribs and seeds inside this pepper? That's where all the heat is, okay? So you wanna 
if you don't like the heat, you need to get that out, and then you'll have more just to flavor a jalapeno. Now, you're still going to have some heat, nothing like you're going to get with these ribs and seeds. Um, also, if you don't mess with hot peppers much, really make sure you wash your hands really good after handling these. Uh, don't touch your eyes, nose, any other sensitive parts. Okay, I took my tom tomatillos and I cut them in half. Not not from top to bottom, but from side to side. So you're separating the top from the bottom. So there's your top and there's your bottom. Now, you don't have to do this. You can throw them in their hole. But the reason why I do this is because anything smaller cooks quicker. So, you know, if you throw them in their hole, it's going to just take longer. So I cut them all in half and I'm going to lay them all skin sides, top and bottom sides up, facing up. And I'm going to throw them in the oven uh, and roast them this way so they'll cook quicker. So I've got everything coated well in extra virgin olive oil. It's all I've done to it. And I'm going to throw it right here in the oven on 450 for uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Everybody's oven is going to differ. Uh, mine tends to be about 10 to 12 minutes. And I'll show you what they're supposed to look like when they come out. All right, your peppers should come out looking something like that. And then you just peel the skin right off of the peppers. You don't have to peel the skin off the tomatillos. I don't, I leave them. All right, so after we got the skins off, threw everything into the food processor, I added about two teaspoons of salt, two small onions, and two cloves of garlic. And it just blended it all up and it tastes amazing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna throw it over the pork that I have in the slow cooker. Now I'm gonna let it go for about six to eight hours. Okay, meal prep day, I get carried away guys and I it's hard for me to video every step of the process. Um, when I, I'm just, I'm on a roll because I'm trying to make so many um, lunches and dinners and breakfasts at the same time. So I, I didn't film what I've already done, but it's very simple. All I've already done is this is pork loin. I've split it down the center and I've just added some things to it. I put rosemary, uh, well, I rubbed the meat first with olive oil and put my favorite seasoning on it. You just put your favorite seasoning. I got a citrus seasoning that I like. So I put that on there after I rubbed it with olive oil. Then I put some rosemary down. And then I put uh, feta cheese made from sheep's milk. And uh, after that, I put some roasted red peppers, some artichoke hearts, and some sun-dried tomatoes. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch this back together. Uh, it would really be best if you have some butcher's twine. I don't, so I'm just going to use some toothpicks. I'm going to throw it in the oven about 400 for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to drop it down to 350. Okay, I also made this to stuff my pork loin with and all this is is I put some olive oil in the pan, I sauteed some garlic, red peppers and onions and then I wilted the spinach and I'm going to stuff the pork loin with this. This would be the last thing I put in there before I pinch it together and throw it in the oven. And there it is. Now, I'm one of them people that don't like spinach. But you can't look at that and tell me it don't look amazing. Alright, so here's the two sauces I made. This one's the all fresh ingredients. And this one is roasted. I just chopped the uh, cilantro and threw it on top of this one instead of throwing it in the food processor and blending it in. I kind of prefer it that way. And I'll mix that in, of course, once I put it in a bigger bowl. You can tell it's not in a big enough bowl uh anyway so that's those done i did not make a video on these because i already have videos on my channel about how to make both of these sauces they're very good all right that's what the stuffed pork tenderloin mediterranean pork tenderloin looks like when it comes out of the oven can't wait to eat that